Yo, welcome back to another Siege video. Uh, I'm kind of playing catch up a bit here because uh, with the tournament and such, everything's happened pretty fast uh, over the last few days. So I'm kind of recording this video after the round one. But uh, yeah, basically this Siege, we are versus Sin and Alune, I think they're pronounced. Uh, a lower elo guild. Um, the previous Siege, we were versus uh, the Owls, OO and Lady Yedrasil. That was where there was all the drama at the end. And uh, uh, I tried to give my opinion and uh, what I knew and it kind of went down mixed which I kind of expected I'd like to say it was more positive or it was more understanding than it was negative but I do understand uh, the people who were negative so uh, yeah like I said I totally understand your the points that were put across and like I said it was just my opinion and uh, everyone's entitled to their opinion so yeah that's pretty much it hopefully um there was drama as such on other games in the, the last game of the season on both EU and Global and uh, I'd like I think hopefully come to us, maybe uh, sees this drama, watches it um, and hopefully does something about it. For me I'd like to see a one versus one for the last uh, three to four games of the season. Uh, that way people can't argue, it's pretty much down to how you play and there's no uh, foul play as such. Um, but yeah, I'd also like to see the... 12 hour format for tournament i'd like to see that pushed out over to two days uh kind of like normal siege but just one versus one uh reason being it's very rough uh time uh for people who have a life who work uh, have family and such getting 10 attacks in during uh a working day can be rough uh so hopefully comet was listen and uh we see some changes uh for end of next season hopefully but yeah uh that's pretty much it so yeah we're just gonna try and get straight away i'm I'm gonna try and make this one fast because like i said i've got three videos to upload and um, we did qualify for the tournament on the global account as well so i can bring a uh, round one video from the global account uh, which is the first time uh, that that account has made a tournament which is nice uh so yeah let's just get straight into it so yep first tax pretty straightforward we're versus the dominic and nana nasha uh not much swift threat it could be a trap on the nasha but very unlikely especially considering it's low elo uh, so here we use the verad asima tiana uh, quite simple uh, cleave them up uh, and keep them free shine bright like a diamond 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 fine light the beautiful sea i just to be happy you and i you and i are like diamonds in the sky you're a shooting star i see a vision of ecstasy when you hold me i'm alive like diamonds in the sky i knew that we'd become one right away oh right away at first sight i found the energy of summer ace i saw the life inside of so your the next attack were versus the Sylvia, Brita, and Byungchil. Uh, here we use the Alicia, uh, the light uh, robot, with Dominic Riley. Uh, this one, uh, on paper, I thought it felt like it was a good team, but it kind of uh, struggled a little bit. It still worked, but yeah. Uh, I feel like Kinky just does better than the light robot thing, but yeah, pretty much it. She's going to tank up the uh, Brita and the Sylvia, and then uh, Dominic's just going to try and murder stuff with the Riley attack buff. Shine bright like a 
for the next attack we are versus the nefties laura and uh, khaki defense uh, somebody just lost to this so we had like kind of info uh, but i went in with the maxi tiana and fire Trist. the only difference is i put a uh, tiana on will rather than uh, broken on nemesis uh, with the option that if the Laura does S2, uh, it's going to not stun the Tiana and we're still okay. Um, there's the potential that we get outspeeded on Violent and it goes Laura S3 into S2. Um, which, yeah, it was, was kind of risky, but yeah, that was what team we used there. Uh, not the best, but it did work. For the next attack, we're versus the Ophelia, Viger, and Hurtit. Uh, here we use the Wind Cookie Sonya Eleanor team, which obviously is a high damage Eleanor because of the uh, crit buff uh, and uh, boost from the uh, from the Wind Cookie. And then we have Eleanor to give Sonya a second turn. So we pretty much just snipe Viger and Hurtit, and then we got a three versus one versus Ophelia. For the next attack, we're versus the Tian Lang, uh, Byungi, and uh, Monty. Uh, obviously, a potential snipe uh, with the Monty S3. Uh, so, here we use the Byungi uh, Triana combo, which obviously has a 50% HP lead with uh, two very tanky units. Uh, Byungi having the damage reduction, and then we have the uh, Camilla, uh, who will tank up the. Uh, the Byungi when there's no defense break about so yeah three units that are very hard to kill and uh, three forms of sustain so as long as we don't die in the opener it should be pretty simple from there once we start getting slows and freezes up So for the next attack, we're versus the Odin, uh, Adriana, and Federica uh, defense. Uh, obviously high damage, attack buff, and uh, two ignore damage units. Uh, here we used our, this is a new comp that I've been sort of running in Guild Wars and such, and it's really, I really like it, it's quite cool. Uh, so basically it's Sylvia, Alice, and Nasha. So we have a swift Alice on really high defense. Uh, what we do is we just uh, boost with the S3, which then reduces the incoming damage based on her defense. Uh, and then from there, we've got the cycling through Sylvia, which will re, uh, reduce the cooldown on the S3. So once uh, we kind of kill something, it's kind of hard for them to break down the damage on the Sylvia, on the Alice's S3. So yeah, we just uh, get it up and then start killing them and then keep refreshing it with the Sylvia team up.
Searching for the right, but it keeps avoiding me. Sorrow in my soul, cause it seems that wrong. Really loves my company. He's more than a man. So the next attacker versus the Sylvia uh Hild, what we're called, can't remember the light Viking type thing. In Kuma, uh, here we use the Amelia, uh, Bulwark, and the Karas team. Uh, I kind of thought that this would be kind of low damage, like, uh, I know it's obviously this team ups and such, but the Light Viking I didn't think would be on, like, do that much damage, and then you've got Kuma who's more supporty, and the same with Sylvia. Like, I thought, like, with the burst healing from the Bulwark, uh, I didn't think it really put a dent in me, but it did actually do quite a bit of damage. Uh, we still win, uh, the team still worked, but it was, it was more surprising than I did. Because uh, we were like uh, minus light as well, so like I'm thinking like minus light, uh, cleansing the defense breaks, it's, it's going to struggle to break down this team, but it did, it did do a surprising amount of damage, but yeah, uh, still still managed to snipe the light vagger and the light Ivor, and then uh, win from there. <laughs> Kiss upon my cheek as he reluctantly I said if I'm gonna be out late I say I won't be long just hang out with the girls a lie I didn't have to tell because we both know where I'm about to go and we know it very well and I know that he knows I'm unfair Well, the next attack were versus the Ayunu, Vyga, and Lumai, a old uh, meta kind of defense. Uh, here we use the Kamun, Copper, and MSE. Pretty straightforward. We just snipe the Lumai and then uh, three versus two, the uh, Ayunu and Vyga. <laughs> The final attack we versus the Chandra, Draco, and Odin. Uh, pretty straightforward again. Uh, here we use the Mean Dovolution. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. We snipe up the Lucian, uh, snipe up with Lucian, uh, kill the Odin, and then we just follow it up with the Miang to kill him again. And then from there, uh, hopefully all should be well because they don't have any healing. And yeah, the Chandra should be pretty low from the Lucian. I'm a one for a good time, call phones blowing up the ring of my doorbell I feel the love, feel the love One, two, three, one, two, three, drink One, two, three, one, two, three, drink One, two, three, one, two, three, drink Coming back to Nyla's count Yep, so this is the end result. It was us in first place, Sin in second, and Luna, Luna, I might be pronouncing him in third place. Um, I was hoping for a drama free siege, as obviously the game before this was horrendous and it wasn't nice for anyone involved. Uh, but yeah, the, this siege ended up being a drama siege as well. Uh, so Sin and obviously the other guild um, realized we were way ahead in win rates. So I think at the time it was, we were 97. 
Sin was 85 and Luna was 75, I think, something around there. So Sin pushed on our back line and then the Red Guild, uh, I don't know if they teamed up on purpose, but the Red Guild then joined in and took our back line. So it was like six hours in siege and we were totally cut off. Um, I don't know if it was an intentional two versus one. We got contacted by Sin and they apologized and said, they didn't really, they didn't expect the other guild to join and such, but uh, luckily in the end, even uh, with the, them trying to kind of do a little bit of a 2v1, we did uh, manage to win still. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't blame Sin, I don't blame the other guild, I they blame the system. The system's really poor for end of season qualification. And yeah, like we, we had like 97, 95 our last two games and we like clinged on <laughs> to qualify like, if you're a guild who's like on the border of G3 and your your win rate's a little bit lesser, uh, you've got no chance. If if the other two teams decide like you're not you're not going in the tournament, it just it's not happening. Like unless you've got really really good win rate and the other ones are so bad that you can two versus three, then yeah, it happens. But the system is just for me is terrible. Uh, needs total total change. But I, I don't want to talk about it too much because uh, I'll sound like a morning, but. Like I say, I don't blame Sin or the other team. Totally blame the system. So, yeah, uh, end of that's the end of the sea siege, siege season. We're now into tournament uh, phase. Uh, so we've qualified on EU and we've also qualified on uh, global on Gully side. Uh, first tournament uh, for them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, attack wise, we went ten zero. The only one that I wasn't that happy with well i suppose i wasn't happy with it was a bit risky was the tiana um maxi one uh, obviously it could have the laura could have did a s3 and os2 which was a bit uh thingy but yeah it was kind of like russian so yeah uh two defenses again i can't remember who won because uh we've reset them for tournament so yeah uh and apologies this one's a bit rushed uh, like i guess i'm trying to catch up because i've got three videos uh to make now over the over the weekend so yeah apologies uh and hopefully it's still enjoyable and uh again uh congratulations to anyone who's made tournament or new personal best so yeah i'll see you in the next one